Hi everyone and welcome along to another video and today's video is about Juba Tetia leaving Sunderland to join Plymouth Argyle on loan. Um, just another video I didn't do but I fancy doing this one now. Um, so I've got a few thoughts about this one at all. So Sunderland the FC midfielder Juba Tetia has joined Plymouth Argyle on loan guys. So I'm going to read out the statement to you and yeah let's go. Um, so the 21 year old moves to home park for the remainder of 2022 to 23 season. Joining the Skybet League One top and pilgrims to aid their promotion push. Matenia moved to WSA one year ago from Fleetwood Town and has made 25 first team appearances, including 19 year outings during the current campaign. The midfielder is expected to be available for selection when Stephen Schumacher's side plays faces Sporting Wanderers tomorrow afternoon. This was on Saturday, by the way. Um, this was Saturday's game. Um, Sporting director Christopher John Speakman said, Jay made an immediate and positive impact last season, and he was a huge part of our promotion. He's worked tirelessly during the current campaign, but found limited opportunities. So it's only right for his de development that we seek an option to get him more playing time in the right environment. Plymouth respects, re represents a great opportunity for Jay, as he joins a team in great form, where the demand and expectations are high. We feel this best place for him to return to SEFC in the summer and wish him well at home park. So, guys, um, my thoughts on Jay Batetti leaving and um, joining League One side for the foreground on a loan deal. I thought that would be a great, sensible um, idea from Tony Mowbray um, because I don't think he'll be featuring in the championship um, this season. So, it's good when he gets out and gets first type first team football at Plymouth Argyle. Um, I seen him. I think I seen him play on Saturday in the lineup. I don't know about that, but um, I think I seen him in Saturday's lineup against Plymouth. Um, so good luck, the lad. And um, my thoughts on Jamie Teddy as well. Um, he's a good creative midfielder for you guys. If Plymouth Argyle fans are watching this um podcast right now, um. He's a creative midfielder. He's got a lot of talent about him. And he's only young. Um, I think two seconds, guys. I'll tell you how many appearances he's made for Fleetwood because I should have had all this sorted. Um, it was a last-minute thing. Yeah, he played on Saturday at um, Plymouth Hall. Um, so Fleetwood Town, um, he's had 27 appearances and scored one goal. So in May 2018... Matetia signed for Fleetwood Town Academy following a spell at Ren during the 2019 2020 AFL Trophy. Made two appearances for Fleetwood against Liverpool in the 21s and Northern Athletic. Grimsby Town on loan 2021 and um, 20 appearances scored three goals. So on 21st of January 2021, Matetia signed for Grimsby Town on loan until the end of 2020 21 season. Matetia played in 20 games for the Mariners, scored his first goal. For the club in 32 seconds in an AFL League 2 tie with Broughton Wanderers, in which town ran out event eventual with 2 1 winners. He scored the winner in the 2 1 win at Old North Athletic with a brilliant solo strike, having run out the rubber from the halfway line before hitting the slot into the top corner. A few days later, he scored again at Exeter City to give the Mariners a 2 1 lead. But was we a sent off as Grimsby eventually lost 3 2, confirming relegation to the Football League. Um, the club appealed his red card, but it was turned down effectively by ending his season. Sunderland 2022. On the 31st of January 2022, Matetia signed a fellow League One side Sunderland on a four year contract for an undisclosed fee. Matetia said, upon signing, I'm delighted to sign for the club of Chris Stratra, and I can't wait to get started. Everything has happened so quickly. But it's brilliant to get the deal done and I'm excited what the future holds. So obviously his future right now, he's on going to play the four and I think it's best for him to do that. Um he'll get first team football there, what I've just said before. And um he'll be about 15, 20 appearances for Plymouth before he comes back in the summer. And hopefully he'll get into the um championship next season if we're in there or in the premiership, I don't know. But um take care guys, love you and leave you. And we'll be on the next video in about an hour and a half for the podcast. So take care, love you and leave you. Goodbye for now.